the universe isn't as chaotic as it might seem. Aside from rogue asteroids, ravenous black holes, explosive supernovas, and rapidly spinning neutron stars, most of the stars are bound in a delicate web of galaxies, and they are separated by vast, unimaginable distances of dark voids of nothingness. It's the space between space, intergalactic space, and it is sparsely populated. But they aren't completely empty. Infrequently, lone stars can also be found. Now, for the first time, astronomers think they have found evidence of the death of one of those lone rogue stars. The mysterious giant appears in the shape of a ring near our galaxy not far from the large Magellanic Cloud, and it's giving the impression of being an intergalactic supernova remnant. What does this mean for the study of the cosmos, and how can us Earthlings learn more? Well, stick around and find out. Here's everything you need to know about the ring-shaped object picked up by the most advanced telescopes our world has to offer. Astronomers are astonished at the remarkably neat circle emanating radio waves hanging in space. The Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP for short, was the first to detect it, and they named it the J0624-6948 or better known as Rogue Supernova Remnant. They weren't specifically looking for it. Actually, it's safe to say that astronomers just stumbled upon it. But it is the first known case of an intergalactic supernova remnant. Located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, or LMC, which is a satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, stargazers' attention was turned towards a giant ring-shaped phenomenon. Research into Rogue was first led by Professor Miroslav Filipovic from the School of Science, Western Sydney University. But regardless of the countless eyes in the sky plotting the cosmos, it couldn't have been detected without the help of the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. It's a new generation radio telescope managed by CSIRO, able to measure the range of spherical objects in more accurate terms. And due to its high sensitivity, good spatial sampling, and wide area coverage, the telescope will continue being an invaluable asset to gain a new perspective of the universe. From what scientists have been able to gather, it appears that this supernova remnant could have originated from a 7,000-year-old star. To be more precise, they estimate that the object is about 2,200 to 7,100 years old. The object was initially chalked up to be another very large unexplained astronomical object, or Odd Radio Circle, ORC, because its radio wavelengths are highly circular and bright. But unlike an ORC, Rogue has a flatter radio spectral index that is not hosted by a central galaxy. On top of that, it is larger. Each circle appears to be several billion light-years away, and potentially as big as a few million light-years in diameter. Individual ORCs appear to have galaxies at their centers, but strangely are only visible in radio waves. Odd radio circles with their enigmatic shapes were just recently discovered in 2019 thanks to the 36 colossal dishes located in Western Australia that take images of the entire night sky in radio waves. To dive deeper into this mysterious supernova remnant, the observation was published as a study in the journal Monthly Notice of the Royal Astronomical Society. According to lead researcher for the project, Professor Filipovic, when we originally discovered this almost perfectly circular radio object, we thought it was yet another ORC, odd radio circle. But after our additional observations, it became clear that this object is much more likely to be something else. Professor Filipovic added, Researchers are considering several possibilities. The most plausible explanation is that the object is an intergalactic supernova remnant due to an exploded star that resided in the large Magellanic Cloud outskirts that had undergone a single degenerative type 1A supernova, which involves the explosion of two stars orbiting each other. On the other side of the same coin, some scientists believe that this object may be the remnant of a superflare activity from a nearby star from the Milky Way, or an unforeseen larger ORC. Recently, astronomers have been baffled by several mysterious radio-emitting space circles. ASCAP has become the godfather of detecting ORCs, as they were first discovered using the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, which is undoubtedly one of the world's most powerful radio telescopes, the objects seem to be huge and distant, with several defining characteristics. Astronomers now believe that ORCs are a result of an energetic process in the center of the galaxies. Unfortunately, the precise nature of that process is unknown. Upon deeper observations, it's probable that ORCs are actually spheres. The reason that they appear as rings is because of perspective. Around the edges, 
there is a greater density of emission along our line of sight. Yet there are a few key differences between J0624-6948, the rogue supernova remnant, and ORCs. The lack of an obvious central galaxy in J0624-6948 is a big one. But that difference alone is not decisive enough on its own. The spectral index of the radio emission is flatter than that of ORCs, and the apparent size of J0624-6948 rogue is different. It's much larger than the other ORCs observed. For this reason, Professor Filipovic and his team have considered a myriad of likelihoods that might result in an object that resembles their observations. These included a much larger ORC, as well as a super flare originating in a star near the galactic center, or jets from a distant active supermassive black hole. In the end, one scenario stood out as the most consistent with the observed phenomenon. Professor Filipovic further explained, the most plausible explanation is that the object is an intergalactic supernova remnant due to an exploded star that resided in the large Magellanic Cloud outskirts that had undergone a single degenerative type 1A supernova, which involves the explosion of two stars orbiting each other. What we've potentially then discovered is a unique remnant of a supernova that has expanded into a rarefied intergalactic environment, an environment that we didn't expect to find in such an object our estimates point to the age of about 2,200 to 7,100 years old. Although it's true that supernova remnants don't tend to be so beautifully circular, it wouldn't be unprecedented. There have actually been a handful of similar examples, like the stunning eye-shaped object SN1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud have been documented. SN1987A was a Type II supernova with a dwarf satellite galaxy in the Milky Way. According to Robert Kirshner of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts, the 30 years worth of observations of SN1987A are important because they provide insight into the last stages of stellar evolution. But when it comes to J0624-6948 rogue, if the scientists are right, it will indeed be the first intergalactic supernova remnant ever identified this bubble-like sphere of ejecta expanding outwards. According to the team's measurements, an association with the Large Magellanic Cloud would make J0624-6948 rogue around 155 light-years across. We can expect follow-up observations to shed more light on the uncertainties. In addition, more observations with instruments such as ASCAP and its South African counterpart Meerkat, as well as the James Webb Space Telescope, could help identify more peculiar radio circles in the sky. Discovering more will give astronomers a more complete picture of their range and diversity, which in turn gives us a better chance of deciphering what they truly are. The Hubble Space Telescope, which is orbiting the Earth right now, can see billions of years back in time. Its successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, can of course peer even farther back in time. Both the Webb and the Hubble are considered future radio telescopes that are able to capture some form of electromagnetism. This includes visible light, infrared light, radio waves, microwaves, and ultraviolet. To be specific, the JWST can detect wavelengths from 0.6 to 28 microns. The long wavelength limit of 28 microns allows the telescope to detect normal galaxies whose spectra are redshifted by the expansion of the universe by factors of up to 10 so it should surely be able to provide exceptional details on radio circles and the rogue supernova remnant. Professor Filipovic commented, these new radio telescopes can pick up a range of spherical objects. Due to the combined effects of high sensitivity, good spatial sampling, and wide area coverage, they are enriching our understanding of the universe. And in that enrichment of knowledge that we have about the universe, Space Infinity will guide you along your journey through the cosmos be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Further discussion is welcome, so comment down below and be sure to check out the Space Infinity Archive for more shocking info about our universe.